Hi, Joe Cerrone. Welcome to CAD 230 Introduction to SolidWorks, our weekly Zoom meeting for November 30th. As we take a look at uh, where we're at in the course, we have 13 modules total, and we cover up to 11 modules from the textbook. The 12th module is the CSWA practice exam. And as we take a look at what we're going to work on, module 11 is the module 11 and the 3D printed vice assembly are the last projects. And I've pushed back the uh, date for the 3D printed vice assembly. And I've also checked the syllabus and the 3D printed vice assembly is an extra credit hands-on project. So I gave an extra two weeks for that um, as um, I really didn't have anybody ready for that project yet. And so I figure we need more time. So with that, the last day to get all the projects in will be on December 15th. That'll be the last day to turn in projects. We will be releasing the final exam um, available on December 3rd. And it's really great if you can take the CSWA exam. Um, the CSWA exam has uh, a virtual tester and it's a great certificate to have. So I'm gonna go through and do a quick demonstration of how that works. To be able to take that exam, what you'll do is you'll click on this link or to take the, the practice exam, you'll click on this link here and then you'll download this tester, tester client. So you'll click on that, download the tester, and then you'll open it. Agree to the terms and install it. And then choose your primary language. Most people will put it through in English. I used to have one of the guys who worked for me who would take them in French. He was from China, very smart. So choose your language. I already have an account, so you can fill out this information right here. Don't lose your password. Um, I recommend you use, um, well, I'm not sure if you have to use your Oakton email for this um, because, well, go ahead and use whatever email you like. We'll find out if it isn't. Uh, and you can go ahead and then register to be able to do that. I already have an account, so I'm going to just log in. And then there's these different testing areas that we can go through and work with. We're working with SolidWorks, so we'll go into the SolidWorks. And there's a lot of different exams that are available. As the department chair of the program, we purchase the licenses through SolidWorks and they give me additional uh, licenses to be able to take the exam. And so I will give you a voucher if you decide to take the CSWA exam. And when I say if you decide to take it, you have a choice. You can either take the CAD 230 SolidWorks exam, which is very similar to the chapter 21 of the textbook, or you can take the SolidWorks exam put out by SolidWorks. And the SolidWorks exam is located under CSWA. And what I recommend you do is you take the practice exam. Um, the practice exam is available in a number of different languages. If I decide to take this in English and I start the exam, I can take the exam as many times as I'd like as you could as well. Um, so if you don't pass it or if you don't take it real serious the first time, that's quite all right. 
if we take a look at it, it'll get you prepared for this exam. You can go ahead and agree. And then basically you start this exam and it goes through and it asks you these different questions. And what I recommend is you have two monitors, one monitor for drawing things on SOLIDWORKS and the other monitor for um, looking at the test questions. And so information like to create this drawing B, necessary to sketch a spline in which SOLIDWORKS, um, I believe it's a section. Now I could go back if I, if I decide I'm gonna go back to crop and change that. And then you can also go through and then answer these other questions. And then it has you model the parts, very similar to what we've been doing throughout the chapters. And so it, it has you build this part and it's very similar to the way we were running the course throughout the semester. It's got the different values based on the density and the material of the part. And so you'll start a new drawing, set it up in millimeters, set the decimal accuracy to two places. And then it doesn't seem to matter where you put the part origin on this one. All holes are true unless otherwise specified. Material is ANSI 1020 steel. And then that steel designation is given here. And then it has these A, B, and C values. And what you do is you click on these different screens and it gives you the blueprint. You can make this bigger and then you can put it on your second monitor and then you can draw that part, calculate out the mass properties of it. You have a 25% chance of getting it right. So you can go through and practice these values um, for the test Another part to model, this basic tool block. Again, they give you different details and they'll have you change the part oftentimes throughout the exam uh, and answer different questions about it. There's an assembly and these parts for the assembly are down, downloadable. So you can click on the download, you download the part and then you create the assembly and you start by inserting this green rod shaped part here and the origin would be right up here. And then you would add a concentric mate to the top right here at the center and then a collinear mate. And then you can go through and start to specify these different, um, these different angles for the mates. And then it'll ask you for this coordinate information. So once you go through and you take the test, it'll, it'll uh, go through and evaluate you, and then you can end the exam. And so, yep, I'm done. Sure, that's fine. And then it'll tell me that my results are probably so-so. Um, it's a tough exam. Um, as you can see, I, I didn't take it seriously, but um, I have had very good results for students who take it seriously and pass and study for the test. It's a terrific certificate to have because if I hire somebody or if I have people that are interested in working for me, if they have a certificate, I have a good gauge of where they're at. And so a CSWA tells me that somebody has a good handle on the basics of SOLIDWORKS. And then there are other exams that you can take also like the CSWP. Um, if I log in here, I can show you my credentials. And so you'll get this virtual CSWA certificate that you can then download the certificate. And then you can use that to show people that you're an accomplished SOLIDWORKS associate. And I probably got to go get some more SOLIDWORKS uh, certificates. And they do have some really great other certificates. And so I have these credits that I will be giving the students. And so I have 45 of these credits that I can give to the students. And the cost of the test is about $100 if you were to pay out of your pocket. 
I also have the SolidWorks Additive Manufacturing, which is what we're using in the CAD 210 course. If you're thinking about what course to take next semester, I would recommend the Intermediate SolidWorks and or the CAD 210, which is the Industrial Design uh, course, because the Industrial Design Certificate um, bases that off of the SolidWorks course, the 3D printing, and then the CAD 210 course. And then it gives you a secondary certificate, like the additive manufacturing, which basically goes through how to use these 3D printers. So with that, I'm going to, I'm going to circle back over to the class itself. It's the module 12 is to take and practice the CSWA exam. Now, if we go and we take a look at module 12, there is a practice exam from the textbook. And so if you, if you go to chapter 21 of the textbook, uh, it's very similar to what I just showed you with this practice exam. And so we go to content and then we'll go to module 12. And so module 12 basically says what I just talked about with the virtual tester. Um, if we take a look at the content and the material from the book, I've already downloaded it. And so I'm just going to go and show you here. So this is chapter 21. And basically, the exam is three hours. We use we will use the honor lock um, exam procedure. So you'll be able to take that exam. Uh, you're going to want to click on the honor lock so that you'll be proctored for that. Um, if the honor lock fails, I think it will still let you take the exam. But um, from a standpoint of how Oakton is running things, uh, we do want you to use that. So the exam is three hours. You know, you don't have to pay any money out of pocket. I will give you a voucher and I will send you an email asking you which exam choice you would like. Passing is 70%. You can't take the exam again until two weeks later. And so you can't like take it today and then tomorrow and again until you pass it. Um, until your money runs out, I guess. But um, it's rigorous. There's um, a number of different parts that you'll need to draw. I believe it's four or five mechanical parts. And as we look at this, um, first part will be drawing and part assemblies, asking about which one of these sections. Here's our broken out section. and then some basic modeling. So there will be four parts to model. And what you want to do is you want to get good at modeling the parts within the three hour designated time. And you can kind of narrow things down to one or two test question possibilities. And so that's what I recommend. Make sure you answer all the questions, even if you have to guess at one of them, um, because it's one in four possibility that you can get the answer correct. And so this is just basically how to draw this part. And so if we were to take a look at that part, let's see, where is it? I think it's this one. Yeah. And so here's, here's that part from the textbook. Uh, it's basically this fitting. If we take a look at how this part was created, we start with this boss extrude. Here's the sketch for it. And so you'll draw that basic shape and then extrude that mid plane. And then once you have that started, you can go through and follow the rest of the procedures to create this model. It's nothing that we can't do. Everybody's been doing really great with the, with the, um, with the parts. Uh, it's just a matter of wrapping things up in my opinion. And so as you look at the different parts, there's a bracket in 21. Again, it's going to have you, model the part based on the information from the textbook, and then analyze those parts for the information they will request. And then there's another one here is a, a tool block lever. And then there's this wheel. I thought the wheel was probably the hardest one. 
when I took the CSWA, there was also another part that was kind of like a kind of like a propane tank, a cylinder. So these may or may not be, you might see one or two of them. I doubt you would see all of these in the CSWA exam, but they would be pretty similar. And then there's one assembly. And my recommendation would be to practice on the assemblies in the textbook and to be able to go through and create the mates and then to be able to answer the analysis questions. So with that, I'm gonna circle back around to our main splash page here. So these are basically the PDFs from the book. If we were to take a look at part two modeling, it's just gonna recap what I was just showing you, how to model the part. And you're to do those four parts and those questions within three hours. Circling back, if we wanna take a look at where we are and what we've covered. Uh, the course has gone really quite well. Um, we have a big class. Um, people are doing well in the course. And most of the grades are pretty close to being, you know, pretty well set. You know, there's not, there's not a lot out there other than the final exam. If we take a look at the final exam, or we look at the, if we look at the syllabus here, um, we've gone through and we've covered a lot of the learning objectives here. Um, gone through the engineering design process, created these sketches, applied constraints. We built 3D models using extrude, revolve, lofting, assigned material properties, um, examined the mass properties, created 2D drawings of the parts. And then as we looked at these, we've gone through and created these different subject areas Certification exam is the last thing on the list. And so that certification exam will be available starting on the third, and you'll have until the 15th to take that exam. And that will be it. Uh, all work needs to be turned in by December 15th. Labs, midterm, final exam. Take it seriously because it does have a, a pretty heavy weight to the final exam. And then, like I was saying before, people were asking about the 3D printer hands-on project. It is an extra credit assignment. So do the best you can, but it's always a great way if you put that in to get those few extra credit points that could be the difference between an A and a B. All right, with that, I'm gonna circle back around to the homepage here, see if I've got everything covered on my list. Yeah, so the last thing that I wanted to look at really was just, you know, the module 12. Module 12 is basically um, a practice exam. And so go through, take the practice exam, and then check your emails. I'll be sending you an email asking you which exam option you want. You have two options. Um, if you decide to take the 230, which is this class exam, you'll be given an exam similar to the one in the textbook. And if you decide to take the CSWA exam, you'll be given a voucher and you'll use the virtual tester for that. We've covered 11 modules from the book, plus the CSWA, which is chapter 21, which is what we're, we're going through this week. That would be module 12. So I guess we're covering 12. And then if we look at the due dates for everything, we wanna get everything in by the 14th, 15th, the latest. Okay, uh, so that's our quick review of what we're working on for CAD 230. I'm gonna stop the recording and open things up for questions.